Max Imagination here. So today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a bicycle chain spinner or a mini bicycle chain spinner. So this right here is really small and um, to break things down even more, you have rubber on the inside between the bearing and the chain itself. Here we'll be using eight links of this bicycle chain. And um, I also, for the buttons, I've screwed together these two nuts that later in the video I'll be explaining about how they come in with the buttons. I normally glue onto here. So we just have a, um, the thread of a bolt going through and with these two nuts. And this is where you hold on to. Okay, so right before we get into the materials to build this fidget spinner, I just wanted to show you something here. Many of you were asking, what is this button am I using and where do I get it from? How is it called and all that? This is called a bolt cap or like a screw. You basically you have a nut here that you screw on with a bolt and this is how it comes when you um, buy it. So uh, you have a bolt just going right through this cap or actually it's a button. I call it a button. I use it for the middle of my fidget spinners to hold on to. Okay, so these bolt caps are also sold on Amazon and on eBay. They don't look exactly like this. They may look you know, in a different way, different shape, a bit of a different color and all that. But that's okay. They're basically the same thing. And also check your local hardware stores in the motorcycle section where they sell all their own parts. You may find these. You may just be the lucky person. Alright guys, so here are the materials to make this fidget spinner. You're going to need some bicycle chain, doesn't matter old or not. We're going to show you later in the video how to uh, make it shinier. You're going to need your 608 skate bearing. You're going to need a bolt and two nuts that can screw onto it. And you're also going to need a small strip of rubber that perfectly fits around your bearing. Simply by gluing it like that. And that creates the perfect fit to go into the bicycle chain. And also wanted to explain that it's an option. You could either just take these buttons and glue it on to the bearing like that, but it's not going to be so strong. So I'll be using this bolt and these two nuts as the buttons. Alright guys, so the next step to make this fidget spinner, you're going to take your old ugly greasy chain and if it's clean, you just go next. You just skip this step. But if it's dirty, like mine, you're going to need some degreaser. And all right here, the uh, degreaser I'm using is D4. I don't know, you just buy in your hardware store. I'm sure they'll have it. And um, you're going to need an old toothbrush that you're not using anymore. Or just a brush. And you're just going to spray a bit, and then you're going to brush. All right, so now both the clamps are clamped. And I forgot to tell you that you have to first count out four of the top links. There are eight links in total. I'm just going to quickly show you here. If you have a bicycle chain remover, then sure use it because this is a motorcycle chain remover. So basically you just set it down on your chain and um, use pliers and you have to twist this and you keep screwing it until the, the little um, pin pops out. I can't use it because the pin of this thing is a little bit too big to pop out the uh, bicycle one. So. Um, I'm just going to use my old technique where you take your center punch and you're going to bang it out. Alright, let's do it. Okay, now using the hammer and um, a screw or a center punch, you're just going to... There's our piece. So the next step is we got to make it shiny if you want to have a nice looking, fresh, no paint spinner. So, uh, I mean, it's an option. You can just go and spray paint the chain and then come back afterwards and hammer it in and then put your bearing in and all that. Or I just want to make it look natural. So we're going to go up to my vise and uh, we're going to shave it. And like one of my favorite YouTubers, Crazy Russian Hacker, Safety is number one priority. Let's get grinding. Okay, so um, now we're just going to use the vise and you're going to clamp the chain down like that. And using my Dremel tool here, see, I'm going to plug it in. All right, 
Let's start. Alright, you're gonna just check that your chain is all shiny on one side. Flip it over. You can see before and after. Alright, let's do the other side. Okay, so uh, the next thing is uh, you got to do these sides. As you can see, they're a little bit rusty. The top is all shiny, but uh, these sides have to also be done. I mean, it's not so important, but if you want to make your spinner look really good, like outstanding, well, I'd recommend you to do this step. I'm just going to tighten it in and do it for the sides. A few moments later. Alright, so once your chain is all nice and shiny, next step is to hammer the pin in. Alright guys, so the next step we have to do, you have to take your rubber that I showed in the beginning of the video. You're going to need some of your super glue. You're going to put glue on the edge of the bearing like that. And then you're going to put your rubber onto the bearing. You're going to wait till that dries. Press and hold and wait for it to dry. Next, you're going to wrap the rest around the bearing. Move the rubber onto the bearing like so. Now what you're going to do, you're going to put your bearing into the chain that you have. Make sure it's a tight fit. Mine is not too tight, so I may as well just super glue it. Alright guys, so as you could see, I'm using the bolt from the bolt cap as you saw. And we don't need the bolt head itself. We're just going to need the thread. So, using my hacksaw, we're going to cut off the right amount of thread we need. Let's do it. And I recommend you guys use some pair of pliers because, um... I wouldn't want your hand getting cut off or your fingers. Another reason is because the bolt will get too hot for your fingers to hold it. There you go. Alright, it's very hot right now, but as you can see, we got the bolt. Okay, so now we just cut the bolt off, as you can see, from the thread. And you're just going to put it in through like that, and then you have your nuts. So let's just start by screwing this in like that. So you have the right amount of space to go through the other side. And then with your other nut, meet at the other end. And you're just going to tighten it. Make sure it's in the center. You may just want your buttons centered. And you're just going to tighten them really well. And right now it's finger tight, but that's okay. You can always go and use your needle nose pliers to tighten it. And there's your spinner. Alright guys, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. I really like this fidget spinner. It's pretty cool. Alright guys. Thanks for watching and peace.